in the hills may seem like an unlikely place to find nesting seabirds, yet here in the seaward Kaikoura Mountains live the Hutton's Shearwaters. They were rediscovered here in 1965 by keen bird watcher Jeff Harrow, and they return each spring to breed. I'm hoping that later on tonight, I'm going to be lucky enough to see them. in the morning and we've had hundreds of birds crash landing all around us. They've flown up from sea to feed their chicks in the burrows. It's absolute chaos here. It's awesome. <laughs> Jeff, can you tell me about discovering the birds here? It all started in December 1964. We were staying at Pekitao at the Hislops Motel, the first motel between Picton and Christchurch. And I made this chance remark were there any sooty shearwaters or mutton birds around on the coastal cliffs or headlands? And uh, Ivan Hislop said, there aren't any mutton birds around here, but they are way up in the mountains. And I couldn't believe what he was saying. Birds at that height, way up in the snow line, it might be the mysterious Hutton shearwater that, that nobody knew anything about. So six weeks later in February 1965, I set off in country that I didn't know at all well. After eight hours of slogging through the dense scrub and riverbeds, I gave up and, and just camped, put my sleeping bag out among the tussocks. And I was so disappointed. I thought, oh, this is a wild mutton bird chase, nothing here. I was up at just after daybreak, about five in the next morning, carried up on further up the valley. I was coming down a very steep deer track, and there in front of me was a smelly, maggoty carcass and I just gave a wild whoop of pleasure for burrows everywhere and I collected another two good specimens. I sent all the three carcasses up to Wellington to uh, Dr Robert Feller. Five days later I got a telegram back from him saying all three specimens Hutton Shearwater congratulations and uh, that changed my life. <laughs> We put on GPS locators to find out where the birds went in our winter. The birds went to Australia. Uh, some went along the New South Wales coast and up into to the Gulf of Carpentaria and north of Darwin. Some went to the Indian Ocean in, west of, of Australia. Some of them came back way almost to, in the ice pack virtually in, in the roaring 60s and then up the east coast of um, of New Zealand and back to Kaikoura. A lot of wonderful new information, and we're going to continue with that. With populations in rapid decline, it's been a real privilege to spend some time with these birds in their mountain habitat. With all the research and protection given to these fascinating seabirds, we can hopefully gain an understanding of what it takes to bring the Hutton's shearwaters back to healthy numbers and ensure this precious taonga graces the coast of Kaikoura for many years to come. Oh. <laughs>